Hi, Gemini. It's lovely with your your thoughts for December for your um your your horoscope, if you want to say it that. But mainly, just what's going to go on for you for the month of December. Um, it's it's a good month for you. Um, you're always happy. You always like Gemini because usually you always have a lot of people around you, which is very very good. It's a springboard for you for change or something to invest in. And and then when I say invest in, that could be a job, it could be a person, it could be uh, many things, what you're doing in your home, taking on something new. It's the right time to mindfully address existing conflicts. And you will be doing that. I believe you're already doing that some now. Recommitment in a relationship in order to renew. It very, very much could be, very much. And let's see, let's see what we have here for you. Um, Sorry, sorry. Um, communicative, communicative and polite character with a sense of humor and creativity. And that will be you this month. It will totally be you. December will be a month of love and passion for you, Geminis. And you've mastered the preparations for Christmas. You can take a moment with your partner just for yourself. And you're very good at, um, at organizing things and getting them ready. You know what you have to do ahead of time. Do a lot of things ahead of time so it isn't one big rush. Sometimes you have that, but you're very, very, very organized for different things. Not everything, but you are for Christmas coming up and where you're going to go, dinners, who's going to go, come here, go there. You'll be engulfed by the desire for a warm hug that will fill you with love. And, and, and Gemini, everybody, they love you very much. And you have lots of hugs coming. And that's good, very good. And a lot of little children around, whether they're your children, whether they're uh, grandchildren or great-grandchildren, it will be a nice warm feeling for you. Nothing else will matter at the moment. And during this period, you'll be able to spread joy for everyone around you. And you always do that for Christmas especially. Christmas is, you are a real Christmas person. So enjoy, enjoy it. Enjoy it very much. And everybody wants to spend time for, with you so you'll be pulled from one side to the other. But think a little bit about yourself and treat yourself to peace and relaxation because sometimes if you have to go from one thing to another to another, you know, it gets difficult. Um, you won't sit still for very long. That, that's not your way. That's not your way, Gemini. Venus in the position of Capricorn charges them with love and energy for this month. It always does, but it really does this month. You, you always be worried about your loved ones and always be excellent host over the holidays for everyone. But you should realize that Christmas is mainly a holiday of well-being, and treat yourself to that. You're so always preparing for it. This person likes this, that person likes this. This year, think a little bit more about yourself and what you like, uh, so you can enjoy it a little more. Um, feel free to make a trip only with a partner and throw everything else behind you, behind your head. Do that, uh, and, and take just if you just take a weekend for the two of you. Uh, because no matter where you go, you have family kind of spread all over. Um, it's good for you. And you two just have that one day together, maybe traveling back and forth or going there. It will be very good. You, it'll be romantic and passionate and sexually, and your other half will appreciate it. It's that you don't have the time to do that together very much, alone together. However, failure can do, can happen, so have devastating consequences if you don't really take some time for yourself. So don't, don't succumb to anything that's not positive. Really, in this whole month, don't live by the three C's. Don't complain, condemn, or criticize. And every time you start to do it, think about it. Think about it because you have big family problem, uh, big family plans coming for the month of December. And so you really will enjoy this a lot this month. Uh, and enjoy every, everybody. Take the time. It doesn't have to be such a push. Because every year for you, it's got to be more and more and more. So let's see what your uh, your your readout that I did read reads for you. With the cards, <laughs> but I don't know what I do without Sue right now. Talk about someone who has so much in their head. Have it more than just in my head. <laughs> um, let's see here. Sue is the best, so I'll tell you that. 
and we all should give a, a shout out to Sue and thank her for for her. I don't know if we could have gotten all this done over these years, but we, she wasn't here. She's wonderful. She goes way beyond anything that needs to be done. Oh my. Well, here you are. You must be on the edge or have thinking about doing something new. You've Maybe you've been working on something for a while, doing it, something you will make some money. And this could be, very possibly, I'm feeling, it could be something on the side, not a main job, but it could turn into something that you do for a living. It wouldn't happen right away. It might have to take a year or two. Uh, a year for sure, I believe it would take. Uh, by this time next year, though, you'd be very happy in it. Very, very happy. Going very, very well. Oh, I mean, look at these cards you have. And you work more money. Your money is coming in at the end of November, starting in uh, starting in December. Look at here. We've got making money or good ideas of starting something. You have You have the uh, four of diamonds or pentacles, which is money or things of great value. You have the star, which can be can be in part of that. Oops. Okay, but you're very good. That's very good. And this tells me you've been looking. You've reached a goal, and the reason you're here, you're looking for a new goal. The reason there's no clothes on is very symbolic because you're free. You don't have to wear a clothes. And that's just very symbolic, um, and not in a sexual way. This is to say you're free, you can do what you want, you don't have to be somebody you're not, and you are looking for a new goal. You've The, the old goal is gone, is very successful, and you want to bring the new one in, and it will be very successful. I believe you have been, a lot of you have really thought a lot about so many things, and then you, you came down to one thing here, and it's good. And here we are. Oh, this, I mean, you can get much better than this. You have the star, which is a major arcana, which is very strong. You have the strength, which you've seen strength. And you have the love card, the ace of cups. Well, you couldn't have much better than that. Seriously, I am saying that because it's so true. Here you are. It's also symbolic and for eternal, for you. You have people eating out of your hand. And if you have a romance, that will happen, as you can see, um, because they they want to care about you. You're not doing it and manifesting anything in a mean way. And here we are, just um, having love come to you, or you're feeling it more in another way, in a new way. Uh, and this is the Ace of Cups, which is Cups is love, affection, uh, doing things for other people. And this is the hand of the Lord saying, saying to you, uh, um, for, for sure and for certain, love for sure and for certain. And even if a friendship, it's, it's something, how you do something uh, with great success. And this this is, the, oh, there's only one other card in seven, of 78 with the hand of God on it. And I'll show the two if it comes up to you. Um, here, with this, just know this is a great month. I mean, a great, great month for you. And it will, it'll continue to go on. In February, it'll be, uh, stronger than ever. And that's the beginning of some new things, some very new things for you. Um, and here you are, something else is offered to you. Maybe it comes along with this, or maybe it just comes along, but it does come along with something you can do with somebody you can care for if you're looking for someone. And if you're in a relationship, you'll have more, it'll get warmer, warmer, closer, and deeper. Your opposition is you don't feel you have the knowledge or you know you don't have the knowledge to totally get this, totally immersed in that yet. So you're learning and you're gonna be learning and this is, you're learning and you're asking the Lord to give you the wisdom and show you the way And here. So the opposition is you want it in a hurry. You want this to happen in a hurry. Um, it's not going to happen as fast as you want it to, but it will happen. And if you take it as you should, means you're holding on to your money you're holding on to your knowledge and here and you're going to you're going to just hold on to it you're not going to just go ahead with it like you normally would do a lot of times this time you're going to just do it right and it's going to be very successful for you sue has your angel card and it is success is there for you gosh that's exactly what this says success for you whatever you do just remember do one thing at a time don't try and do too much at once and let's see your um your lucky days 
your best days are the 7th, the 10th, and the 21st. Very, very good. Have a wonderful month. Bye-bye.